What's going on guys, it's your boy James here, Beards and Cards, back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, thanks for subscribing, I see a lot of new faces. If you guys are just stopping by, consider hitting that big red subscribe button down below. With that being said, guys, I'm going to jump straight off in this topic today, which is about beard washing. So I've had a lot of people ask me in the past, you know, basically just how do you, how do you wash your beard? What do you use? How many times a week do you wash your beard? How many times a month do you wash your beard? So on this topic right here, beard washing. I'm going to start off with what beard wash I would choose if I was choosing a beard wash. This is just me personally. Uh, neither one of these companies do I have an affiliate link with. This is just me giving you my personal opinion, okay? Two of the beard washes I like the most, okay? The first one's going to be Artius Man. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's upside down in it. Woohoo! There we go. Okay, it's the first one. I know this bottle looks all whack, but don't... Now, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Okay, but this is artist man the 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 actual The actual scent of the beard wash does not really matter to me. It's more about the performance of the product Okay, so artist man. This is a, this is by the way. This is a bay rum This is a really good smelling beard wash if you guys are into the scents for the beard wash this one was bay rum So it's a good uh, it's a pretty good smell. So oh By the way guys look at that Ooh, I don't know if you guys have this where y'all live at. See that Smoothie King? Oh, yeah, boy. If you guys don't have that, this is a really good smoothie. If you guys do have one, you know what I'm talking about. Go get you one. But anyways, so back off into the topic, okay? So Artist Man would be one of my would be one of my one of my washes that I would use to do my beard washing. Okay? Artist Man is a very good product. It is it is by far one of the most lathering uh, beard washes out there so it tends to sud it just suds up a whole lot okay so when I'm washing my beard I want to see a lot of suds I want to feel like it's getting the job done and that's why I use artist man it, it creates more suds and lathers up more than any beard wash that I've ever used period so the the only downfall on this particular beard wash is that it's a stripping so when you get done with this it strips a lot okay it's just none nothing else to say about that it's a stripping beard wash it does the job well but it's going to strip out everything out of your beard just like you want to now i'm gonna move on to another one which is this one it's the scotch porter okay now with that one being said guys Scotch Porter is by far my very first go-to. Now, I made a video about this in the past. I wasn't real happy with the Scotch Porter one. And I think it's because back then I was so worried about the smell of the beard wash. You know, I wanted a smell to it. The Scotch Porter doesn't have much of a smell. So, back then I thought that the beard wash, in my opinion, I jumped on it too quick. And I was like, ah, it ain't that good of a wash. You know, but I was, it's, I was so concerned about the smell. But now, stepping forward moving forward this beer wash is by far one of the best beer washes that i've ever used personally to date 2020 i'm sure there'll be another one but for right now i like to use what works so sometimes when you use certain um you know the beard oils and bombs and butter stuff like that i'll experiment a little bit more about or a little bit more with but when it comes down to your your beer washes and co-washes when I find a good one, I tend to stick with it uh, just because I like to use what works. So the Scotch Porter is the only beard wash that I've been able to use that doesn't feel, when I get done with this, it doesn't, my beard doesn't feel stripped down. It doesn't feel so messed up and shocked. Okay, so that's why I like to use the Scotch Porter. Now, on the Artius Man, it has a lot more stripping effect to it. But the fact that it gets in there, man, when you use the Artius Man, the fact that it gets in there and does the job and suds up and lathers so much, it'll make you feel like you definitely got your money's worth, and that's what I like about it. But like I said, it's more stripping. The Scotch Porter, this beard wash, I've seen co-washes that strip way more than the Scotch Porter's beard wash. So that alone should be enough to let you know that it's a really smooth, soft beard wash. It doesn't it doesn't just get in there and really jack your beard up. So there's a lot of other beard washes out there. Some of them are just too stripping for me. Like I said, some of the co-washes out there are so stripping 
then I don't like using them. I won't use them. So therefore, I might not even mention them. And um, these two I have sitting right here are both very good at doing what they're supposed to do. So if you want one that's non less stripping, then I would go with the Scotch Porter. Um, if you want one that really feels like it's doing the job and you like that sud, you like a lot of suds in your beard, gets in there nice and deep and cleans, the Artius Man is right on point with that. I wanted to bring up this next thing, which is going to be how many times do I actually wash my beard a month or a week? You know, this is what I want to talk about. How many times I do it a month or a week? And, um, you know, to be honest with you guys, <clears throat> I'm not out crazy getting in the sun. Or, you know, I, I'm not out in the sun crazy, just getting sweaty, um, you know, getting dirt, metal grinds, anything like that all up in my beard. So, therefore, I don't wash my beard daily with the beard wash. There's also another reason behind this why I don't do this. Um, when I, you know, a lot of people ask me, you know, do you blow dry your beard? Why do you blow dry your beard? Okay, so they believe that it shocks your beard. It really puts your beard in a shock. This may be true, and I'll explain that in another video. But for me, this uh, beard wash, what it does, it really shocks my beard. So being that I like my beard nice and straight, when I go to a beard wash or a co-wash, but mainly the beard wash, when I wash it, man, dude, it really shocks my beard, especially if I use a stripping one. It, it just, my beard feels really, really jacked up. And it takes probably a good, man, it seems like two days before it actually comes back to normal, uh, back to its the way it likes to sit. And sometimes I've even had it seem like it takes longer than that. That's why I don't choose to wash my beard daily. You know, if you were going to do anything daily, it would be a co-wash. And then even then, I don't do that as much. So, but as far as washing my beard, I do it, at the most, it's going to be once a week, and sometimes it's not even that. Sometimes I'll wash my beard once every two weeks. I've even went as long as only washing my beard once a month. Now, like I said, in between, I'm rinsing off of water. I'm hitting it with some co-wash. Um, I'm still getting anything in it out, but I'm not shocking it with that wash. So, yeah, so that's what I would do right there is, you know, I would go in, do the, co do the wash, um, you know, once a once a week, once every two weeks, sometimes once a month, depending on how I feel, because it really shocks the beard. And then <clears throat> from there, I just leave it alone. I just do my style it daily, just like it is right here, right now. I style it just like that. Leave it alone. Get up in the morning, style it. Leave it alone. And then the beard wash, you know, you got to get to know your beard. The beard wash will come with time. You, there'll be a time where you step in and you realize, you know what, I feel like it's time to go ahead and wash the beard. Even though you're co-washing, you know, if you're if you're co-washing daily or co-washing every other day or whatever, there'll be a time where it comes in and you'll be like, it's time to wash the beard. Once you start to really know your beard, you'll know that it's time to go ahead and uh, hit it with that wash. So, But if there was any beard washes that I would use, guys, it would be these two, which is the Scotch Porter. I don't think they make this one anymore. You can probably still pick it up on Amazon. This is an awesome beard wash right here. By far the best, softest. When you when you're when you use any almost any other wash out there, you want to be able to tell that your beard was completely stripped. And it's gonna feel weird, you know, when it's when you get out of the shower and it's all dry. It's gonna feel like it's been shot completely. Um, Scotch Porter doesn't do that that much. It still feels soft. Like I said, it's better. It's almost better than some people's co-wash, which is just completely strange to me. And then my second one would be the Artius Man. Oh, let me flip it over. Artist man. That one there will give you all the suds in the world that you want. If you're a suds person, that'll give you all the suds in the world that you want. So, ah, hope this helps somebody. Uh, just want to put this video out there. I've never done one on washing, uh, on just using beer wash. I've done one on some of the beer washes I use, but never really how much I actually wash. And that's the main reason I don't wash that much is because when I wash, it completely, completely shocks my beard into a whole different category man it really messes my beard up so that's why i don't wash that much um but i do do the co-washing in between and stuff like that but the beard wash really jacks my beard up i don't like that i can feel it i can tell for like i said days sometimes feels like a whole week and um that's it so beard wash for me once a week sometimes only once a month and um yeah that's it hope somebody can relate See you guys in the next one.